Predator Pursuit is presented by NightHuntingDepot.com, your one-stop shop for all your night hunting needs. Hey guys, I'm Jeff Thomason and welcome to this week's episode of Predator Pursuit. I'm super excited. We're back in Maryland on the Eastern Shore with Mike Burgess and Jeremy Brown, and we're gonna be chasing Red Fox. Maryland 2020, we always have fun when Jeff comes up here. So we got a couple days to hunt. First night is gonna be the best weather. Second night is gonna be a little tougher and the third night, I mean, it's still a toss up, but whatever happens, we, you know, we're gonna make the best of it. We've always had a, a blast. We've always made it happen. And uh, we found a way to put predators in the truck and that's just kind of part of the deal here. That's what we all strive to do. We want to become better predator hunters every time we hunt. And with Jeff, I feel like, you know, we learn how to put predators in the truck and we, we find different tactics that work for us. So we're gonna try that again this week. Brother. Dude, that was an awesome one. That was that's a fast start here in Maryland. That's only our second stand of the trip right there. Y'all are hunting these these fox kind of like we do the coyotes. Just when the sun comes up, we just kind of ease back in this thick stuff, and we only pretty much had one 
straight shot right there, and he couldn't have come out in a better spot. We knew they were here because Mike just bought the place, and it's never been hunted, and it's all this thicket in here mixed with some little open areas, so we knew. If he'd went two more feet to the right, he was behind trees, yeah. so as soon as he got up and started that way, I, I had to shoot him, but if I'd have had more open, I'd, I'd have let him go a little bit longer. He smoked him, it was pretty shot. Good stuff. That was awesome. Let's hurry before it gets too bright. Let's go. That is a big, pretty fox, golly. I knew he was pretty when he was coming in, but geez. Look at that. Is that a big male? Yeah. Yeah, it's a male. Oh, yeah. Golly. What is this, a second day legal fox opening? Yeah, room, basically. Yep. Yeah. Only the second day we're able to hunt, second stand, and I'm looking back at where we were just sitting and calling, and that fox could not see us. Yeah, that song's right no, in his eyes. Yeah, that was good. That's actually better. No way. That's why he sat down. He could see that decoy, but he couldn't tell exactly. There were two or three times where he, boy, he got down and got excited, and but then there were two or three times where he went. He looked, yeah, he looked. <laughs> he I thought he was did go. That. Yeah, every time he did that jerk, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm fixing to shoot him. But he, he calmed back down. Yeah. Well, another fast start here in Maryland, boys. That's what I, that's what I like. Daytime, already got one down. Yeah, yep. let's do it again. We know the nighttime is gonna be good, but if we can come out here and kill him in the daytime, it's gonna be good. Takes a little bit more work, but. Yeah. Well, awesome, boys. Let's get back after it. Let's do it. Good job, dude. Thank you. Let's do it. Good shot. Guys, we had a great first morning. We started off really good here in Maryland. We didn't have any more luck after that stand, but we're gonna get back after them this afternoon. So this fox has come out in the field, but he's locked up, he's not moving, but we're set up in a really good spot. We're in the shade, so we're gonna play it out and see what happens. Well, we were able to hustle and make it in for our last stand of the day. The sun is going down, and this is one of my favorite times of day to make a call.
fucked up. Yeah. 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 Uh. yeah. There's a house back there. Just when you think you've got these things figured out. I mean, it was, this is one of those where I knew we were gonna call one up. No doubt about it. And there's a farm over here on the left on the neighbor property. I can't shoot that way. But we were hoping they'd come in for the shotgun. And he did perfect. Came straight down just like we thought he was going to. And then he just didn't care anymore. Like, that's one of those blooper reel type deals, but well, the sun's going down, which is good because these suckers move a whole lot better after dark. So we'll just get geared up and get the lights and the thermals out and get ready to get them. Well, even though that last stand didn't really work out the way we wanted it to, the day hunting here in Maryland's been really good so far, but now we're gonna load up and get ready for some night hunting. I'm not used to watching them just through thermal like that because every time we've been up here before I've just I've been looking through lights you know looking through regular scopes so I just started lip squeaking he turned he turned and came yeah. right to us it's pretty wild dude I well, there's a big fire burning over here we're behind these we're at this chicken farm I don't know if they're burning chicken poop yeah, or what it is what but it is. we were kind of worried going, man I don't know if they'll come in or not with this fire burning and but there actually was another fox on the other side of the fire. He wanted nothing to do with it. I, so I don't know if he, if that fire kept him from coming or not, but yeah. that's fun watching him like that. I'd take my eye out of the thermal every once in a while just to see yeah. how far oh, it was, yeah. you know. Yep. Cool. Good shot, brother. Hey, just wait to get started. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, that's a big male there, bud. Yes, it is. That's just how he, how he died right there. Look at that, man. Black legs. Another one. He's trying to eat the leaves. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, you nailed him. I don't even see where you hit the guy. That was a good shot. Yeah. I don't know. I, that's actually, that's my first predator stand with this Thermi on. And mine was the first kill with the trail too. That's awesome. These are both two brand new scopes from Pulsar and I mean they're legit. I had mine set on Violet. What'd you? What'd I you had do? mine on uh, White Hot. White Hot. Yeah, it's, I mean, <clears throat> compared to the trail one and then the trail two, it's night and day. Really? Clarity, yeah. No man, we're just getting rolling. This is really our first night stand that we've actually called one in and you know, every year it always takes two or three good stands for us to get rolling and get our get our stuff together. And yep. Get that worked routine. out. Yeah, that worked out good. So. I mean, yeah, there's nothing left. Like nothing. No, can't even tell where you're getting. That's good. Well, good job, man. Yeah. Let's do another one. Let's do it. Guys, you all heard it, that loud click that we all hate to hear. Sure enough, I'm not sure what happened if I didn't load the gun or if I just didn't get the shell all the way in there, but you heard it. I clicked, I dry fired, the fox heard it. He took off, that was the end of that hunt. And to be honest with you guys, after that hunt, things really started to go downhill. <laughs> five o'clock in the morning and that's one of the second fox we have killed. We have been grinding and grinding and seeing fox just cannot make it happen. It's just one of those <laughs> nights, man, you know, you can't, you can't always be great, you know what I'm saying? No. So. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's show. The day hunting here in Maryland's been really good for us so far. The nighttime's been a little tougher than what we're used to, but the good news is we're just getting started and we've got a lot of time left here in Maryland. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. We'll see you again next week.